From a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Well, do it live! Do it live! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right at our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. A recent study in the journal Science, it's from the San Jose Mercury News, showcase of very promising results. Girls are measuring up to boys in math from grades 2 through 11. Yet there is clearly, this is where they go off the deep end, there is clearly room for growth in the number of young women exploring technology and science as career paths. Let me just forget about the rest of the story for a moment and say, is this really critical? Is this really important? Women don't like gadgets as much as guys do. Women don't care, for the most part, about the way things work. Why should we be browbeating girls into becoming computer whizzes, into becoming software authors? Is this important? This is like when I opened the Los Angeles Times one day, and they said that Southern California needs another 50,000 Latino doctors. Who came up with that number? And why is the ethnicity important? And it's the same kind of thing here. You see these numbers, you see these uh, projections, or these people who have these opinions. Oh, it's very, very important that women become more involved in science. Why is that important? Does anybody out there think this is important? Seriously. Now I'm going to do something off the deep end here. I didn't even tell Dean about this. I'm going to do something off the deep end. I'm going to ask you this question. I'm not going to screen the calls. I am just going to take the goddamn calls as they come in. I'm just going to mow right through these. I don't want them pasteurized and homogenized and over screen. I was just telling you, screener, that I think girls ought to be... Shut up! We're just going to plow through these. Remember, I've got a zero-tolerance policy, one curse word, and I'll hang up on you. Try it. So the San Jose Mercury News, the headline, the headline. This is a newspaper. You would think it's supposed to be objective. Should we have editorial comment in the headline? The headline says, we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Why? Unscreen calls. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yes. Hey, my sister's a teacher, and she tells me that they can't flunk anybody. They have to pass everybody. So that, that that's the reason that girls are doing as well as boys at the math, because because they're not having to really teach me anything really hard, because they've got to just run them through. How many women do you know who know how to do anything with numbers? None. <laughs> Do you know I had a girlfriend who could not cook? Do you know why? She couldn't. <laughs> well, because... No, I'm going to tell you why. Why? 
Number one, because she was attractive. Yeah. And never had to. And number two, because she didn't know a fractions. Oh, so yeah. when it would yeah, say an eighth, she would when it would say an eighth of a teaspoon, she would say, "How much is that?" Yeah, yeah. Like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. How much is that? Oh, I know, man. I What's the difference between a, a tablespoon and a teaspoon? <laughs> I need I three know. eighths of a of a of a quart of milk. How much is that? Yeah, how much is that? That's it, buddy. No wonder they're not interested in the sciences. Hello. Hello. Tom Likas show, yes. Yes. Hello. Uh, there's a three hello limit, so if you say it again, you're done. Okay. I want to say that these uh, these these people trying to make the girls want to be scientists, they need to realize that girls aren't scientists. Girls... All they do is take care of the boys that become the scientists. That's right. That's hopefully, definitely hopefully right. under hopefully under the lab table, if you know what I mean. The Tom Likas show, it's unscreened calls. Is it important to encourage girls to pursue science careers? No. Why not? Well, I mean all we're saying as just how weak and sissified we are that we have to have all these numbers of this, that or the other, more Latino this, more women that. You know what? I seem to remember a day when men were more in charge. You know what? Step up. Be a man. And quit letting it be sissified. Women don't have to do anything but be women. Stay home. Bake my bread. And raise my babies. You know what I mean? Iron my shirts, for Christ's sake. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to talk to Tom. Tell him, uh... That, you know, what, did Tom to... say? what did Tom say he's doing this hour? He's talking about, uh... About women, how they want to be scientists and stuff. And did he tell you you would have to talk to a screener first? Yep, he said I'd have to talk to a screener first. All right, the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, how are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's a good thing because, you know how you always said that women aren't, uh, you know, producing enough to uh, make money for themselves, you know? So you think it's important for them to pursue science careers? Yes. Well, why is it important for us uh, to, uh, why is it our problem? Why is it our responsibility? If they want to get interested, it's right there. Get interested. Well, that's why. Cause, uh, I mean, do we need uh, more, do we need more women radio personalities? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about the. Well, you radio. have a, do you have a radio? Yeah. Do we need more women doing this? Uh, I, I guess it, it depends what they're, uh, you know, what they talk about or, or what they do in the radio. What are you talking about? I mean, because there's, there's a lot of, uh, what's it called, producers in, in your radio industry that are women. And uh, there's a few, uh, I guess. You know, how many are on the air? How many are in the air? Probably not, not many. So do we need more? Yes. Don't you think we have as many as we need? Not really. Why not? Who well, decides? Because, uh, how do you decide how many we need? Based on population. But it has nothing to do with population. It has to do with what people want to listen to. Exactly. I mean, and very open... few women. There's very few Heidi Hamiltons. There's very few women out there uh, who can hold an audience. So should we have women doing it even though they can't hold an audience? Well, it, like I say, it depends on, on their, uh, you know, what they what they talk about. I mean, if, if they're talking no, about it doesn't. nonsense. And it, no, no, I'm talking about whether we need women to do this for a living and why we need it. Why do we need it? Well, I, like I said, kind of like why we need somebody like you, Tom, because, you know, we need... We need uh, women to, to, you know, be able to, like, hopefully have some... I've had enough. Tom Likas Show, hello. Tom? Yes. Hey, Tom, uh, I was calling about uh, women in math. My girlfriend is actually really, really good at math. She so she must be very homely. No, no, actually, she's an ex-suicide girl. You know, the model, she's actually really good looking. Um, when I met her, she... Are you there? No, I left the room. Can I take a message? Oh, that's enough. Tom like his show. Hello. Tom, you know, maybe uh, as young girls, the fact...
Manhattan Fuglies should really be, you know, sort of, you know, f looked after by the teachers. And I think the fat and fugly should be groomed for science career. Exactly. That's what that's Because what I was no to... guy wants to be with a hot chick who's talking about science and mathematics all the time. Very true. Fat Very and true. fuglies uh, need a way to pay their bills. Men are not going to pay their bills. Many of these science careers pay well. So I think if your child is trending towards uh, husky uh, attire... Yes, husky. You know, or she buys her tube tops at, at uh, what is it called? Oh, oh a torrid. <laughs> she buys her tube tops at torrid. I would say it would be a good idea to prepare to groom her for a science career. Yes, indeed. Tom, thank you. Thank you. The Tom Likas Show with unscreened calls. Uh, the San Jose Mercury News says we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Is that true? I uh, hear a dial tone. How about you? Is that true? Yeah, I I think I think that um, it's there's nothing wrong with encouraging women to be what they want to be, but there's no sense in saying that we need 500 more. You know. That's like uh, when it's election time and they say we need to go into certain neighborhoods and encourage people to vote. We need That's to right. get out the vote. You know what? If people don't want to vote, don't vote. And if the people aren't planning to vote, they're not the kind of people we want voting anyway. You know? Right. Thanks, oh, no. Tom. Love the show. Thank you. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. All right. Very good. It's the Tom Likas Show with unscreen calls. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. This just goes to show you that the average American's dumber than a stick. They come out with a study, and then everybody screaming liberal out there has to agree with it. Oh, yeah, we need more of this. We need more of that. They never come out and say we need more ditch diggers in the world. I think we need more thin women. Exactly. Exactly. Can you blow me up, Tom? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. The San Jose Mercury News says we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Hello. Hello. Tom? Yes. 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 Tom Likas, right? The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I think it is. I think it is a good idea that girls study science. You think it's a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So I got some more chicks in my science classes. To get more chicks into your science class. Okay, fine. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, I think it's absolutely important to encourage women to pursue science careers. Why? Because it's an untapped resource. An um, untapped resource. In what way? It's 50% of the population. I mean, who knows where the next great scientists may come and from. So let me ask you a question. Uh, having a vagina will help you in the science trade? How? Does having a penis help you in the science trade? It's not the point. Why do we need more women uh, studying science or going for science careers? Why? For what purpose? I'm not saying we need them. Are we short on scientists? No, 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 no. I'm not saying we need them. Need is a tricky word. I'm just saying that it is important to encourage them uh, to pursue science careers because they haven't done that in the past. And it's but, just but, 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 they, but why do we need to do it? Because it's an untapped... It's you keep saying the same the thing. Oh, yeah, you, but if there's no shortage of scientists, why does it matter whether they're men or women? Who cares? All right. It's, if you're if you're trying to field a, like a football team and you're scouting only half the country, you might be missing some. All right. Athletes. So should the NFL be encouraging women to uh, try out for the Green Bay Packers? No, because the why NFL not? Is you're missing fifty percent of the population. Yeah, the NFL is men only. Um, well, scientists that, is, is again, gender. maybe maybe we need to encourage girls to study to be a linebacker. Now, why would that be? Why would that be? Profitable? Well, because you're missing out on fifty percent of the population. No, you're not. Maybe women, the, maybe the next don't... maybe the next Brett Favre is carrying a Hello Kitty purse. No, 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 no. Women don't measure up to men physically. They just don't. Maybe they don't measure up to men in the science world either. Well, maybe they won't, maybe they won't measure to them to the highest. Why level is it necessary? I, we have no shortage of scientists. Why waste our resources trying to convince women to do something they're not interested in doing? All I'm saying is, if you have a portion of the population that has never been encouraged to pr to attempt something, a field where they are not at a disadvantage, like in football, a field where they what can What is the benefit we are going to get? Well, do you, you've heard of Marie Curie? Yes. Was, was, was that benefit for us? 
not because we encourage women to get into the sciences. She got into it because she was interested in it. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're telling me. You're telling me that. It's well, was there affirmative action when Madame Curie would got involved uh, in science? There, there, there was like affirmative action, and uh, they need a certain number of women in the class. So you're telling me that we should just let people be completely free and and choose whatever they want without any encouragement at all? You're damn straight. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tom, to say I hate you gives you entirely too much credence. That's like saying I hate. A handicapped, mentally challenged child. Okay, so, I don't so, hate you. So you think I'm a retard? The Tom Likey Show. Yeah, the Tom Likey Show. We're jumping up and down. We're so goddamn excited. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Okay. Uh, this hour, a special edition of the Tom Likas Show. The San Jose Mercury News says in a headline, We must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Oh, really? The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you still taking calls about this? No, I'm taking calls about something else now. Okay. Are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. May I still speak with you? Now, how do you know I wasn't being sarcastic when I said I was being sarcastic? Mm, tone. Okay. Uh, do you have an answer to the question? Yes. When do you plan to tell it to us? Oh, didn't realize I was on the air. I apologize. What do you think we're doing here? Oh, sorry. You're you're on delay, so I can't tell I'm on the phone. Sorry you're not supposed that. to be listening. You're not to supposed to be listening to the radio. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to be listening to the radio. You're supposed to be listening to the phone. I am, and the phone didn't say anything. It was just it just rang, and then it was you. Because I said on the air, we're doing this without a screener. Ah, uh, sorry. And you heard me say it, didn't you? I did. I apologize. So who did you expect to talk to if there was no screener? Uh, you're right. Okay. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Going just great. Yeah, I just want to say that um, I think that's uh, BS, that someone should be chosen by their gender rather than their talent or their skill level. No one should be chosen. Well, I, I just think that uh, girls are not interested in science. So why should we try to force them to be something they're not? Well, I'll tell you this. If they're anything like my wife, they shouldn't even be allowed to touch money or any kind of uh, anything that has to do with numbers or science, as a matter of fact. I, I wouldn't want my girl touching my TiVo. She might uh, screw up all my shows. There you go. Exactly. You said it all. Oh, and by the way, I want to thank you for punking my buddy uh, Steve Lou a little while ago. He called a little while ago and didn't remember that... Uh, it was a screen, unscreen call. So thanks a lot. And uh, if you could take me out, please, Mexican style with a machine gun. All right. Here you go. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer. Yes. And uh, I, I, I agree with you that maybe women shouldn't be so encouraged to do it because if they don't want to do it, then they shouldn't have to. But I'm really good at math, so I think that women are good at – women can be good as, – as good as men at math. But they're know? not interested. If they're not interested, then fine. The, I, I agree. They shouldn't be encouraged. But I didn't like, like the ten men that said women should be staying at home and cooking. Well, I would prefer that, certainly. And if you're going to be working late with numbers, why would I want to be married to you? Yes, but then people like you don't want to get married in the first place. What is your husband's name? What? What is your husband's name? I'm 23. I'm not married. Oh, you're not married? No. Not surprised. Hello, the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, I'll tell you why we need to have women in science careers. Why is that? So she can go to work, become a doctor, while I can sit at home and be the proper student pupil of you that I can be. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. Blow me up, Professor. Blow you up, baby. 
the Tom Likas Show. We're doing something different this hour. We have an actual topic, but with unscreened calls. The San Jose Mercury News, the headline, the headline says, we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Why? Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. You know, Tom, what I hate about all this crap, you know, women, I hate women sports announcers. I just can't stand them, you know, whether they're interviewing or they're giving them the news. I don't know why they do this, you know. It's horrible. Let them do what they want to do. Yeah, I If agree, they want to be know? elementary school teachers and librarians, so be it. Don't force them on us. You know, it's ridiculous. I agree with you. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, I don't think any girl should be chosen or moved into science just because of their sex. I mean, didn't they fight for the right to be equal to men, to be treated like most men, to earn the same wage as men? If they got the brains on them, let them be it. If they don't, out the door. Yeah, I mean, if women want to leave skid marks just like a guy, I don't see what the problem is. That's my point exactly. I don't think we should encourage them. If they want to do it themselves, more power to them. If not... Do exactly what I do. Do your own job and get the hell with it. That's exactly right. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Well, good. Hey, listen. I want to just let you know that I've got I got two daughters and a wife. And the one daughter is older. I wouldn't trust her with science at all. But the second daughter, the younger daughter, is so into it. It's, it's you know. Uh, but, but you're absolutely right, though. With my wife, I wouldn't trust her with the TV remote. By the way, your daughter who's into science, is she attractive? Very much so. She's also an athlete. Oh, well. She's, uh, she's uh, 15, so it's... Well, it says here that girls measure up to boys in math from grades 2 through 11, but after that, the interest level drops off. Because girls know if you want to get a guy, uh, being a nerd or being a, a poindexter is not going to do it. Well, that, that, that's very true. That's very true. That's why she's in athletics as well. There we go. All right, Tom. Thanks much. Thank you. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. It's Mark. Yes. Tom, I hope I'm not getting off topic too much, but we are having a shortage of something. What? Future taxpayers. I believe our economy is uh, is dependent on this. I don't think any of your students should go out and try and help the matter, but I think it's something that we're hurting for. Don't worry. There's plenty of poor and stupid people out there who will get the job done. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I think that article's complete crap. Why? What, what, what really amazes me is how many guys are calling in and saying, well, yeah, I think it's important, with no reason to think that way. You got these guys aren't thinking about it. They're just going along knee jerk reaction with the article. Which, by the but way, it, the article itself is a knee jerk reaction. Absolutely, but the reason the reason it's, it's BS is because you know it's complete. It's just completely sexist crap. How many times have we seen? Well, we need to encourage more men to work in the nursing field. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I agree with you on that. The Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yes. Only reason or only uh, room for these women to have uh, be in the science field is uh, taste or analyze uh, my DNA through taste test. What? Uh, forget it. The Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, I totally disagree with everything that you're saying. What do you disagree with? How how is it that women or girls shouldn't be encouraged to, to be scientists or, or study I'm the I'm not saying they field. should be discouraged. I'm saying why should we make any special effort? Any more than we should make a special effort for boys to become fashion designers. I understand, but the men that are doing it now aren't capable of doing it right. So might as well have women. In what sense? Um, we don't have cures for things. We're, I we mean, don't have cures for things. We've cured polio. We have cured uh, leprosy. We have sent men to the moon. There's so many things, though, that are, like are what? wrong. Are wrong. Like what? I mean, it's endless. It's ridiculous. Uh, give us the top three. So I want to hear. Hilarious. Give me the top three. There's the top three right there. The Tom Likas Show with the radio turned up. Hello. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. So, uh, yeah, first off, I have to say that I do agree. I think we should be encouraging uh, women to get into the science field. 
Um, and the question I just have for you is, you've been saying to everyone, you know, well, what's the good? Well, my question is, what's the harm? There's no harm. If women want to get into the science field, so be it. But what, we should spend money and time encouraging them to do something they don't already want to do? Right, but I mean, don't you think that if there was a little more awareness within uh, women's, um, when they're younger, don't you think that that would encourage more women what, who may we, not necessarily all go this, in? Math and science classes are available to girls straight on through. And this story confirms that girls and boys are about equal in math from grades 2 through 11. The, right. the, the classes are available. Everybody's allowed to participate. Girls just aren't interested in science. That's the way it is. So why is it important to make some special effort to make that happen? Because we're making the special effort for boys. To we do what? men all the time to go into the No, we are not making any special effort. You have science classes, and those who are interested will take them, and those who aren't won't. I guess. I mean, I just, I just don't understand why we would have to um, necessarily even spend money. It's why no do we need to spend time? Why is it important? Why is this important? If any girl who wants to pursue a science career is permitted. We have anti-discrimination laws. They are free today to pursue any career they like. But uh, what you know? What if there's nothing to initially spark that interest? That's not our job. Paulina. That's not our job. Right, so you're saying that we could have, you know, one of the most brilliant women in the world, one of the most brilliant minds, such as Einstein, uh, living, you know, in Southern California, but she may never be able to show us what she can sure do. Sure she can. Any woman is, is free to show us anything she likes. But you don't, you don't, you don't believe that by encouraging that girl to go into science, there's a chance that she may. She should be no that. more encouraged than any man, any boy. Everybody is welcome. Anybody who wants to do it, do it. Anyone who doesn't, don't. But are you disagreeing with the fact that encouragement would increase the amount? Of I don't think it's our job. Science? I don't think it's our job. Any more than it's our job to go out on flatbed trucks with big loudspeakers into neighborhoods and say, please vote. Please come to the polling place on election day and vote. Your vote counts. You know, people who don't want to vote, screw them. Who cares if they vote? Yeah, you know, I, I agree with that as well. So but people I, I who don't, think... don't like science, don't want to get involved, that's not our problem. Those yeah, who want I mean, to will, and those who don't won't. But I, you can't say that because without I the just said it. But without the encouragement, how are you going to know? Like, how is a student going to know immediately if she's never encouraged? Are boys science? getting? Are boys being encouraged? They absolutely are. How? Of course. How? Uh, how companies. are boys? In what way are boys being encouraged that girls are not? Because from from day one, what are what are boys taught that is a good profession for them? Doctors, scientists, chemists. There are now more women getting medical degrees than men. Do you know that? That's false. Actually. That is not false. That's true. true. No, it's, no, it's not true. Women are now getting more medical degrees and law degrees than men. That's a fact. Well, law is not part of the science. Uh, law program, and law but... and medicine both. That's false. It's about 50 It's not false. I'm not going to argue with you about a fact. Look it up yourself. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello. Yes. How you doing, Tom? Great. Hey, I have to agree with you. The last thing we need is a bunch of second-string scientists running this country, because all we'll have to look forward to is probably by 2025 science of the 1990s again. What do we, what do we need, tampon machines at NASA? Come on, step it up. Exactly. We need to get rid of it. Hey, can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It beats in my heart. Oh. In the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. All right, here we are. We uh, see a story in the San Jose Mercury News that says, well, this is the headline of the story. We must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. And I say, why must we do more of that? And to make it really interesting, we're doing it with unscreened callers like you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to know what your idea of a perfect woman was. That would be a woman who turns into a six-pack and a sandwich after I have her. <laughs> That's all? 
Wouldn't no, that be, that have would no be, idea the perfect woman at all. That would be perfect to me. I haven't met one yet, but uh, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, my name is Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The San Jose Mercury News, a headline. In the business section says we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Why must we do that? The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say I totally agree with you about about spending money to encourage girls about science careers. I don't know what the point is. If you're not interested, you're not interested. Right. And it's like, why are you going to spend money on posters and on commercials telling girls, you know, go out and get a science career when if they're smart enough and they want to, they can because there are many other things that that money can be spent on, and it's going to be worthwhile. And that's not, that's all I wanted to say, you know. I, I was interested in science when I was little, so, you know, I took science classes, and that's all you need to do. And if you're interested, you'll go forth, and if you're not, you won't. Right, and if you're stupid and you're not good at science, then, you know, go do something else. Or if you, want to, a, if you want to appear stupid uh, to get a man, that's also okay. Yeah, seriously, but yeah, there's so many things people waste money on, and they don't need to come up with more things. So. I agree with you. All right, well, have a good night. Thank you so much. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? I'm doing great. Good, good. Hey, uh, I wanted to comment about the story you got going on right now, and uh, I think I think they should be encouraged, for, I mean, for the, the benefit of, of guys. Why would it benefit guys? Main reason. Have you ever seen a good are you telling girl? me? Are you telling me there aren't enough uh, competitors for jobs now? No, I'm saying as far as for what you're looking at, have you ever seen a good-looking girl, as soon as she opens her mouth, says the stupidest things? She, she's, she's dumb. She's worthless. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Dumb girls are stupid enough to sleep even with you. No, but it's, it's, it's not worth anything. I, I want to what do you mean it's not worth anything? a girl who's intelligent who can carry conversation and who has good looks but if she has good looks and she doesn't have brains let I me don't tell you I, I don't know how much time you spend on college campuses but let me tell you uh in the uh, sciences in the math departments not a lot of hot chicks no but how, how many more could be there they don't need they to be there. there they don't need to be there because guys will take them without knowing anything about the sciences yeah, but I'm talking about more than a one-night stand here. I'm talking about people that a relationship with a person. Now, whether you agree with that or not, I, I know that you don't necessarily agree with it, but I think women should be encouraged to, to be smart in general. And science is, why not? That's, that's a good, challenging profession. That's exactly right. But it's a good, challenging profession for people who are interested. Sure. But that's I mean, it. Why should we make any extra effort to get people to be interested in something they're not interested in? Now, I, I haven't read the article. What did it mean by... Uh, go read the article. Call back. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes. Yeah, I thought this was pretty funny because when I was in college and high school, I kind of cared less about math. But it was all offered to me. And now that I'm in my 50s, that's all I do is math. Really? Not, for, not something I would have chosen. I understand. What kind of math do you do? I'm in the lumber. I'm in the lumber business, wholesale lumber. So I do board footage, square footage, running feed. I have to tell the contractors how much they use, and you know, you just do it absent-mindedly. But it's nothing I ever would have picked. <laughs> Anyways, just thought I'd give well, you. Well, Dolly, I don't know if you know this, but I'm in the lumber business too. A lot of wood. You like wood? No. <laughs> It's not that I like words, darling. I'm in the lumber business. What's that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes. I One time I actually disagree with you. I think women should be encouraged to go out and get careers, become professionals. They're not gold diggers. They're not stay-at-home mommies. They're career-working women with jobs. Uh, well, that's exactly right. And that's the kind of women that guys want. There you go. 
Thank you for that. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing today? How you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, sir, I'd like to say, uh, first of all, I completely agree with you on this topic. Uh, I feel it's asinine that we would have to produce, put forth any extra efforts or money towards this, uh, towards this subject. But I would like to make a point of uh, that I have, anyone's going to help encourage people, why can't that be put on the parents? I agree with you. Maybe we should encourage single mothers to be interested in the sciences. That, that's a good deal. You know, that would help their children to be, be productive parts of society. Right. You know, maybe we should go to special ed and encourage those kids that they can be anything they want to be. Hey, you know, all it takes is a little, uh, there you go. This is we don't, have, en- we don't have enough retarded scientists. We need more of those. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's a simple thing. And here's a book. Read it, right? We need more autistic doctors. Oh, there you go. That'd be a great idea. But for example, you know what we're short on in the broadcasting business? We don't have enough broadcasters with Tourette syndrome. Oh, well, that would help, actually. By the way, the- I've been trying to tell them here at the company, here at the uh, CBS Radio Ranch, I've been trying to tell them, here's the perfect way to circumvent the FCC regulations. Here's how you do it. You hire a morning man who has Tourette syndrome. So when he goes on the air and curses and the FCC tries to do something about it, you say, hey, wait a minute. We can't fire this guy. He's got a handicap. (laughs) So then you get to have a morning guy who can say the F word and he's protected by all the laws protecting the handicap. There you go. (laughs) I think, you know what? I think everybody with Tourette syndrome ought to send their tape and resume right in. That's very... That's it. And keep the sensors on their edge. So that's right? how you get a shock jock on the air. You just have to say he has Tourette syndrome. <laughs> so if anybody out there has Tourette syndrome, send your tape and resume into the Tom Lika show, and we'll make sure it gets to the right person. <laughs> Great idea there, Tom. Can you take me out African travel stuff? I certainly can. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. These are unscreened calls here on the Tom Likas show. The San Jose Mercury News says we must do more to encourage girls to pursue science careers. Why? Hello. Somebody goes on here and Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Hey, how we doing? First time calling. I don't know how we're there. doing. I know I'm doing great. Ah, good. Uh, your, your listeners aren't doing great. Man, we got a lot of brainchilds running around, huh? Well, it's on screen calls, as you know. <laughs> Indeed. Well, uh, I'd like to preface this by saying I'm an engineer for the Department of Defense, and, I, and a lot of my counterparts are female, and I think that they're invaluable to the warfighter. Really? Um, now, would you, and- want to, would you want to uh, bang any of them? Yes, that, absolutely. If uh, their husbands wouldn't find out, you know it. Really? Uh, anyways, um, I think that the reason is that uh, the technology field, science and engineering, has largely been dominated by males over the last quarter century. And over the last half decade, there's been about a 30% decline in males enrolling in engineering and science courses. So I think that that would be a valid reason to kind of encourage females to take the place that are devoid now by the males who were once taken it. Secondly, I think But, but that, uh, are you telling me there's a shortage of scientists? Yes. If you look at the data, as far as young males that are entering engineering and science programs at, uh, across the nation's university, there's been a 30% decline over the last five years. Well, maybe you need to pay more. Uh, yeah, they pay quite well. I just maybe you need to pay that. more. Uh, has a, a lot more, but because we go into financial banking, real estate, things of that nature, a little bit more lucrative, lucrative businesses, it's been kind of taking things uh, away from where technology was once in the forefront. And uh, just my last point, and I'll, like, I'll let you go, is that uh, my um, fiance has a master's of science in uh, teaching, and she teaches seventh graders. And I think that uh, women and uh, kind of their nurturing role can uh, – be uh, invaluable in that field because I think that they can get through to children just a little bit more uh, better than uh, males can. That's all I got. A little bit more better. (laughs) Tom, I heard you say a little bit more better. That's grammatically incorrect. Hello. 
Hi, I was calling about the uh, science with for girls. Yes. And I was just going to say that um, I was an education minor in college, and we were encouraged to pursue science and math to teach it because they have a shortage of teachers for science and math. I don't know. Well, again, the reason there's a shortage of teachers is because we don't pay enough. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. I'm just saying uh, I think women are more likely to be teachers. In my education classes, like 95% of the students were women. And so to encourage them to pursue math and science. But they're not interested in math and science. You know what makes people interested in doing something? Money. Yeah, I know. I totally agree with you. If I'm you don't have enough money, why, why would anyone be so stupid as to go through getting all that education only to be paid crap? Um, I don't know why, but I just was calling to say maybe that's one of the reasons why they're encouraging them and women are more likely to be I teachers. think they're encouraging it because it's politically correct. That's what I think they're doing. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes. Hello, Tom. Hello, caller. Yes. I think that it is just a bad idea to try to manipulate anyone not to do what they don't want to do. If they want to spend time doing other things, let them do other things. I mean, we already have women manipulating, totally manipulating the laws. Why do we need it on a scientific scale? We don't. The Tom Likas Show. Well, well, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, the Tom Likas Show. Hi. Um, I actually uh, wanted to uh, give an opinion about uh, the topic at hand right now. Well... You'll wait until long. It's the Tom Likas Show.